The very first thing I see is one dollar each. And I already see not well. We'll we'll find we'll find a lot in here, I promise. I could make a nice little stack over here, why not? Oh check out this air fortress, Eric. Best game ever. Oh, but for a dollar, how could I how could I decline? How could I decline for a dollar? Oh yeah. Radical Rex for a dollar? You should. If you don't, I will. Ah, uh, come on now. Just cause a lot of the vendors are cash on. Did you put back Rattle Corrects? I'll grab that. Yeah. I'll grab it. I think this is going to be mostly... Uh, pachinko. Come on. That's what we got here. Oh! A Torcoon. That's kind of a fun one. That's cool though. Street Fighter 2. Never go wrong. Street Fighter 2? Sure. When in doubt. 20. What do you find? What do you find? Dragon Ball Z. Oh, dude! Good find for a dollar. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Oh my god. I know what that is. It's Ron Bowen Half. I'll grab Ron Bowen Half. Oh, check it out, bro, too. Oh, dude! Double score! That's awesome. <laughs> I'm finding baseball and that. Whatever that is. Three gold in here, uh, thing there. I'll put that with these. So, what would you look for on Super Famicom? Are you on Twitch right now? Uh, no, I'm just filming. Oh, I think you just found the first dude. one. Dude! <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. How'd you what? find? You got the magic touch. I guess so, dude. That's cool. I love Dragon Ball Z, man. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of it's going to be the sports, gambling, like pachinko stuff. John Rib? Yes, sir. Oh, that's a familiar looking shirt. That's a familiar looking shirt. How are you feeling, man? Yeah, Thank good. you. Thank you. Appreciate that. I'm just making a nice stack here of these $1 games. $1. I'm gonna take a gamble on this one, and I don't know what it, I'm not sure, but the label looks cool. For a dollar, it's worth a gamble, I guess. <laughs> yeah. It probably is literally gambling, but we'll see. Oh, I mean. I'm making a nice stack. Will you? Yup. Oh, I mean. Not what I was looking for, but I'll grab that too. I already have that one, but I'll leave that one for someone else. What was it? Oh, Street oh just Street Fighter, Fighter 2. 2. Yeah, it's, just Street, it's literally just Street Fighter 2. Still cool though. Grab a Yu Yu Hakusho. Sorry, Eric. Good? Oh. Appreciate it. Grab Space Invaders. Hmm. I think I'm gonna grab that one. Kaido. Some more NES games. Oh, sorry. Cool. Oh. And then. God, I didn't realize there was more in our Yeah, <laughs> I know. Jesus, if you see any more Dragon Ball Z, let me know. Uh, do you have this one yet? That's the one you already have? Let's have a look. I don't... I do. Yeah, it's the third one. Oh, cool. I might still get an extra one for my buddy Josh, unless okay. you want that, boss. Uh, no, you can have it, you can have it. Dragon Ball's cool. Go for it. There'll probably, there'll probably be another one in here. I don't need it, need it, but... Let me help you search, see if I see any Street Fighter or something. Oh, yeah. You never know. Sim City. Uh, yeah. Here, you know what? I'm gonna. Thank you. That's not a bad idea. Let me do that. <laughs> one dollar. One. Ooh. One dollar. Ah, but he's a translation, though. Eh, I think we're gonna see about the same stuff as the rest of the stuff, maybe. But you never know. We found some fun things along the way as well. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. 20 bucks, because this guy is the awesome. Well, now that I'm here, I should probably actually set up my table. <laughs> Stupid easy shopping for games. <laughs> Once again, are you serious? <laughs> so, so far, a few hours into day one, now at Game On Expo in Phoenix, it starts on Friday at one o'clock. Now, other expos start on Friday, but it's just the arcade, it's just maybe, you know, a little, little hangout, something. Game On Expo starts on Friday. Vendors, panels, everything. So we're here, I mean, I got my table open here. Got Yeah Yeah Beavis 2, got it on Dreamcast, got my cereal book. And plenty to see. They walk in through there, and we'll show you more of the floor soon. And you remember these guys, I just bought a bunch of uh, the $1, oh, that's Elliot, not Elliot, turn around. Uh, I bought a bunch of dollar games for that booth over there. But yeah, I'm just, there's a lot to see here. A bunch of games on this side, and then a bunch of anime stuff on this side. So I'm looking forward to doing a full tour here. 
when I can. But in the meantime, I'm at my booth, hanging out. I'm okay with that. A lot to see here, for sure. Now, this is interesting. I'm literally playing this on your on your chat. How did, how did you come across this thing, or how did you invent this idea? Well, mind you, uh, my monitor here, of course, provided me the uh, IDEF NES. Okay. Right now, and then I have a generator that's basically allowing me to go into a laser bear construct and have a monitor. So I'm just gonna go around the con and kind of be like, hey, Beat Class Drill, hey, you wanna play some Super Nintendo? By all means. Yeah. Can I get him? Can I get him? Right in the belly. Oh, I missed it. I'm trying to play one handed. One handed, man. I know. Uh, I'm not doing as well as I usually do. Ah, come on. Got him down once. I'm still still playing one handed here. I got the star still, so that's gonna be the yeah, that's gonna be an easy knockout there. Oh, maybe not. Nice. I don't know if I'll do it in time though. You got it in time. You. I don't think so. Not not with not with one hand. Not with one hand, and I'm filming. I don't know. Star. Let it go. Oh. Yeah. Got him. With 10 yeah, seconds to spare, are you kidding me? Man, crazy. That's a, that's an awesome idea. I love that. We got my buddy Paul here. We got Tim here. We got Warren Davis down the way as well. Now this whole area is new. They expanded here because there used to be a wall that was preventing us from doing this thing. But there was a nice open area. That guy. Nice little uh, nice little open area here. I love how they have this huge VR section set up too. Huge VR section set up here. Beyond realities. What do you think he's playing? What do you think? <laughs> now this is cool. I've never seen these. It's a plush, like conversation hearts, jelly beans. Oh, come on. Come on. They even have a crane machine for your plushy purposes. They mounted up the arcade as well, including this game. That looks crazy. I think they know what they're doing. This is a, that's a it's a one of one so far. Yeah. The S2. It's the only one. See, that's a problem. Not, I don't even have an S. I don't know. I don't have the OLED yet. Yeah. But when I have the OLED, I was waiting for this to happen before I got because the only the only reason I play my Switch portable is when I'm traveling anyway. Yeah. At home, it's just gonna be docked anyway. So gotta have something like this. And now that I have this, I can get the OLED. Yeah. There you go. I didn't even know you just had that's the, the sticker right there. <laughs> this is this is actually about my size of controller here too. I can. You could play it. For sure. I probably could. This is this is perfect. <laughs> this is just this display. Continental breakfast and oh my god, there's six. Cereal selections to choose from. Ironically, you're not gonna believe it. I didn't even grab the cereal today, but I probably will tomorrow. I wouldn't know what that's all like Corn Flakes, Cheerios. Oh, you know what? It's actually the same stuff. Okay. Got Cocoa Puffs at least. That's kind of new. You know, every time we do a convention here, there's always another convention going on. There's been a Jehovah's Witness convention, coffee convention. This is like a glow convention, Color Street. It's a Color Street convention happening the same weekend as a video game convention. We could can we do a tie over? Can we cross over? These are rugs but they said you can't get them wet you have a game boy themed bathroom so yeah. you couldn't really necessarily you could use it once although maybe. it is the guest bathroom so i could just okay myself never to use it and it would look nice. yeah but all your guests would use it and, that's that's the, and then you'd be using yeah <laughs> it'll only cost you uh 350 bucks per visit right. to use it one time charge people to use my bathroom yeah oh my goodness wait a minute yeah <laughs> oh yeah it's the originally this was made for the ces flyer Oh, for for Zelda Two. So this is probably the earliest piece of artwork for Zelda Two. Interesting. Um, American artwork, anyway. Yeah. And then they reused it. So the CES flyer is incredibly rare. Right. I, have, I wasn't able to find the CES flyer. All right. Not yet, anyway. Not yet. I try to frame it with everything. Sure. But uh, they did use his headshot. This little tiny piece in uh, this is Nintendo Fun Club News when they were talking about the chip shortage and why Zelda Two is late. Right. Um, okay. So the. the that thing came from this giant. <laughs> this piece. Made Marvel was basically a marketing house, right? Mm -hmm. And so this is actually a collage mm -hmm. of marketing assets. Right. So this is oh. probably three, at least three artists. <laughs> right. yeah. um, so the line work is quote unquote fake. It's on Photostat, but the mm -hmm. color is is what was. What made it the... It'd be nice if you also had the photo, like the the pre painted. Yeah, I, I, it wouldn't be in detail. This guy, he's a he's like a fine arts professor now. I found him. <laughs> yeah, I found him on social. I'm is he like, the one who did this? Like, no. Uh, okay. This is an artist named Lee McLeod, but uh, who did all three of these. But um, but I was like, are you the guy from the Super C poster? <laughs> <laughs> How often does he get that? Never. The young adults. The young yeah. adults who are on the like the anticipation box art. You know, like what are they up to today? Yeah. yeah. It's really yeah. Oh, the yeah, envelope yeah. art. 
because they never sent any of that back. I've always loved how the Super Nintendo guide, they just plaster right over Samus. Yeah, if it makes you feel better, <laughs> yeah, really. on the inside front cover, they put the whole... They put oh, okay. The whole. Well, that makes sense then. Okay. Some you don't see too often. Got the Hyper Fighting. I've actually been looking for a Hyper Fighting. Yeah. So, nice that you have one, dude. Long Bite Retro Games. Yeah. I like this. What's with... Uh, See? What makes the top loader special here? So it's got a HDMI out. Oh, come on. Uh, the box uh, is a serial match. It's nice. Got the original receipt inside. Oh, wow. Well. But so. you can do the HDMI, huh? Yeah, it's got the HDMI. Oh, come, come on. Right there, no cut, so it's... Beautiful. You know. Yeah, it just adds right to it. Yep. Oh, man, that's great. A good idea. I like that, too. Everything's a dollar. Everything's a dollar, including... Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Got the blockbuster. That's That makes it worth it right there. So tell me about it. Double Dragon for Sega Game Gear. Right. CIB. I, I have to be honest. I never seen this before. Right. And it's I'm pretty good totally condition. Pretty good. I found it. Happiness. I guess. <laughs> this is really cool. I like these jackets and stuff. How fun. What do you got, G? Oh my. Check it out. A Sonic Hawaiian shirt. A Sonic Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> That's beautiful. I love it. Uh, I'm gonna wear it for the panel today. As so. you should. It's my favorite sign, Phoenix Resale. <laughs> yes, I will haggle. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he saw you like coming, I think. I know, it's what I wanted every time. I always feel bad about it. It's like, it really quick. it's my problem. It's like, oh, 20 bucks? I'll give you 20 bucks for that. It's like, no, you should. That's why it's why we're here, you know? I'm trying to decipher what this is. This is the Nintendo Power Reviews Program Cartridge for VCD. I know. This is, what does it do? Like, what is it? You play it? Is it like demos on the same cart? I want one. I wish I, I wish I lived the closer because I'd love mirror. to know if you could find those. Those because I've been trying to find yeah. from my kiosk. What's up, man? <laughs> I gotta I gotta grab, I gotta grab one. Uh, Playing. Ooh. There you go, dude. It's a, it's a buy, buy four get a karate champ free, right? Yeah. Twenty bucks. Okay, that's what, I, that's what I heard. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I just made, I just made that up, but I'll take it. Thanks. <laughs> Ooh, it's the smoky. You can see through it. Uh, uh, Super, uh, Famicom? Yeah. Dude, I like these. Oh, that's a cool color. I never see I never see that color in anything. That one I made. So, so the blue I matched and the red How do you, you, you made these? Yes. Okay, how did you make the color, though? Um, there's a factory, you, you send them a sample and say, I want that color. <laughs> oh. Love these misting thingies. We don't have these in my town, I need those. Flip it around, flip it around. Let me see it, let me see it. Dude, the, the Reuben. It's stacked. What's up? Oh, dude. I know. I got the margarita pizza. I'm rocking the pizza. We've been here twice in the last two days, and you got the same thing. There are other items on the menu. It's interesting to see Mario talking to Mario here. That's only only at uh, Game On Expo. It's the, the multiverse of madness. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit of that. So they had the, the, the $5 games, and then kind of like the 5 for 10. However, they had Rygar for 15. So I got one less and the five transferred over for the five ten dollar games for 40 and it worked out just fine by me. Very cool. Like the black light style there. Those are always cool too. More games are down here. Nope. Good price on Kid Icarus. Family video. Family video. No oh, though, 15 bucks only. I love inconspicuous tubs of games and all even priced. Well, for Trog, 15 for Scheherazade. Where's Waldo? Hmm. I might find a couple things here I like. Don't see wizardry too often. Ooh, 10 for Battle of Olympus. Might get a deal on that. Uh, maybe. You know, it's not just video games too. They also do like the tabletop, the board games, these kind of games. And it's nice that they include this too. I'm really happy they do. Pretty good games here. NES is any best. And 15 for Fex Xanadu. What about Blonde Secret Castle? 10 only. What about Rampart? 15? Alright. Cry Champ is 5. It is 5. Alright, these are about these are about the kind of games I like priced this way. Oh. Here's the, the song that's playing is this music here. Anyway. See something sus? <laughs> the dupe. This is creepy if they turn back around. If they turn back around. Come on, turn around. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, no! 
Oh my god. Oh my god. This is fantastic. I love stuff like this. And there's a lot of like D and D stuff here too. I, I call it D and D generically speaking. I'd be, it's probably like me saying Nintendo for Genesis. You know, what do you call it? Tabletop. Man, this is some cool looking stuff here. If you see a Taco Bell cantina, I, I'm I'm missing Kinsey right now. I know. It's a Taco Bell that serves uh, alcohol. Gotta love that. That run with Reggie. Okay. Oh. oh. Nice. Is that the yeah, I still have that shirt. And then what game is this? That was like. A very expensive PS2 game. Again, this is insane how these people get this play Tetris and know what they're doing when they see it go so fast. It's Dr. Mario, but it's like a special item? Yeah, yeah, it's special. Like up there, you know how they got like this, they, they're using special cards with the same pieces. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. So with Dr. Mario, it's the same deal. Like, so if two people are speed running, they can have the same pieces come oh. instead of random. It's insane. I've never yeah. heard of that. That's awesome. I guess it makes sense. Yeah. Man, this is just falling down now. It's like raining. When it gets to 29, they double again. Oh god. So like, do you see how the guy on the, the, the right, they're like doing this on the back of the yeah. controller? They're now able to play at that 29 double speed. It's, they used to not be able to do it. Right. That's like a new thing that's happened the last couple of years. They tap underneath the controller to make it, like, to put the Tetris pieces where they need them. Oh, how hilarious. I love this, like, you know, people waiting for the bus. Black mage, white mage is hanging out. My favorite thing to see, X. What? Tub full of games on the floor. Too many people are looking at this. It's well, no, do not get out of my, <laughs> get away from my games. He's mine, buddy. Cool, that's what I need. Hold up, man. Who's this guy? Who's this guy? Ooh, love to see this. Love to see this guy. Especially when I do videos of things like these. These are fun. Dude. I like the blue. Fancy, fancy. I like that. Fun to see as if it was real. You never know. I mean, this would be the one to get. That would definitely be the one to get. I love these. These are great. That's what a great idea. Boxes open up. Oh, <laughs> it's like a mimic. I just noticing that. I mean, it looks like a painting from a distance, but yeah, it really is uh, just hand cut wood. That's so cool. Sunday deals, two for a dollar. Man, I, I wish I still destroyed old games to make repros, because I would be buying all of these just to fly them back, but I could probably find, you know, 50 cents. Whenever you see this game, do you think it's Super Metroid every time? Every time. I see this game, it's like, oh, it's Super Metroid. No, it's uh, NCAA basketball. Oh <laughs> This may be the largest contrast of a booth because you have the two for a dollar games and then you have like the greatest stuff right here. <laughs> There's no in between. There's no in between. It's, it's like, just like. It's like, it's like $10,000 game. I see a Crusader Ascenti and you're open for trading. So I will trade you that for a crisp high five. No. No. I 100% promise you this wasn't planned. I 100% promise you this wasn't planned. Are you serious? Stealing my look, dude. Well, if you're gonna steal my look, you gotta kind of, you know. No, you need to get a wig. We're awesome. That's why when I close my shop just to walk around, I put this blanket over it. Yeah, sometimes you see people like Pat the NES Punk has the Legend of Zelda blankets. I've seen New Kids on the Block blankets. I'm rocking the Rainbow Bright. I've had actually offers on this thing. It's like I need to get a replacement blanket so I can bring this too. And if somebody needs one, I can hook it up. But my man just stopped by. and said, "Hey, I want to get these games." I'm like, "I'm down for trade." So let's see if I can trade these for something awesome. Maybe some loose Super Nintendo games. We'll see. Retro finds worldwide. I brought the games here, and we're gonna find some Super Nintendo game. I already found one. Seven Saga for forty. Well, oh, that's one right there. Virtual Bart is going for more than it should. That's oh, forty. I could do forty. Hmm. I feel like Secret Evermore though. I'm gonna guess forty. Forty. Well, there you go. Well, there's the two games. I just see this over here too. What do you got? Cuber 3. Cuber 3 is 20. No, I don't have a Cuber 3. Better grab that too. We got a trade, I even gave him 20 bucks. So, <laughs> that's all good. This is what it looks like when you're streaming on whatnot. That's so cool. I do like the $5 games, but the $10 games ain't bad. Ain't bad. It still is one that you don't really see a whole lot. Excuse you. What? It's kind of cool. I just bought this uh, monster box for my kid there. And in doing so, they gave me one of these that you stick to your badge as a, hey, I just supported the artist. I am an artist supporter. I think that's pretty cool. Of course, it also makes you walk around saying, hey, this person has money to spend on artist stuff. 
<laughs> Buy my stuff too, please. I'm happy to support the artists, and that's why we're walking down the uh, artist alley here. Those are cool too. Got a counting, got a nice stack here at Mighty Mike Beans. Oh, never mind me. Just walking around with a bin full of games because they didn't have bags or boxes, but they're like, oh, just let me borrow a bin. I'll bring it right back. <laughs> so I'm just running over to my booth really quick. Came to 132, shook 120. I'm okay with that. I mean, I wasn't necessarily looking, but all figures are two bucks each. Two bucks, two bucks. It's kind of fun. And what a better time for lunch than literally yesterday's not even refrigerated. <laughs> the pizza we had from lunch from yesterday. I only ate half of it. What about the other half today? Conservation is the key to preservation. I'm sure that's already quote. Or maybe I just made that up. I don't know. Conservation is the key to preservation. Probably a t-shirt or something. One of the main features is a huge arcade section. And I haven't really, really covered the arcade section too much. Which I kind of feel bad because it's done so well and nice and spaced out so you're not like bumping into someone from behind you or anything. That's part's a little like that, but it's like, you know, nicely done. And with this packing, we are all done. And both suitcases, I sold a bunch of stuff and they're both full once again of all the stuff I'm bringing back, as it should be. I just walked through security with a Nintendo game in my pocket and they're running the security, they're running the Nintendo game by itself. We'll see how it comes back. I mean, I'm partial to it.